Driving down Highway 114 from Sawatch, the sprawling San Luis Valley narrows around Sawatch Creek. Towering mountains give way to crags of rock that line valley walls like runners on a bowling lane. Heading towards Gunnison, a feeling of isolation grows in you as ranches fade to national forest, but at the moment when isolation becomes fear of being lost, you arrive at a small ranger station that hosts an event like none other, the Rocky Mountain Flyathlon. Friday night is spent in preparation for Saturday morning. For months now, fly athletes have been raising money in the name of Native Trout. Through crowdfunding, the crew of 60 raised more than $24,000 and bent the ear of many. In the morning, though, none of that matters. All participants will be solely focused on running an 11-mile long stretch of trail. <laughs> During their run, participants are encouraged to catch a trout for added points. If a fly athlete catches a cutthroat, the points awarded to that fish are doubled. This serves two purposes. On the surface, it adds points to your score, but peel back a layer of selfishness and you'll find that these added points equate to a natural understanding of the cutthroat's importance. Upon completing the race, participants head back to camp to rest up. A second hurdle must be overcome before prizes are awarded. To win the event, top runners must first square off in a game of cornhole, then in a match of marksmanship. The top two fly athletes are pitted against one another in a winner-takes-all Red Rider BB Gun shootout. Prizes are also awarded to those fly athletes that raised $500 or more, and the top fundraiser is adorned with prestige and booty. The flyathlon shelters running, fishing, and craft beer drinking under an umbrella of conservation. Most participants will tell you that running is a distant third to fishing and beer, but surrounded by a community of conservation-minded individuals and mouth-watering craft brew, who would want to endure the brutality of the trail? The 24000 and some dollars the event raised will go towards ensuring the longevity of native cutthroats, while conversations had around the campfire will spread a net of community over seemingly distant realms of recreation. Mm -hmm. 